All right, Geardos. Uh, today I'd like to talk to you about the Light Fighter layer jacket. The design principles behind this jacket is to give you many more options in your layering uh, system. So potentially if you were in a hot environment, you could use it as a standalone. And then moving through to temperate and arctic, um, you can use it with your base layers and your outer heavier weight insulation layers uh, to create a warm kit system. So then, to the jacket itself. The first thing you'll notice uh, of the styling of the jacket is we've used that alpine sort of athletic style cut. Um, this reduces bulk, it means it fits your body better and it helps uh, with the mobility. The collar is quite a high collar. It's got a micro fleece lining and there's a nice little uh, zipper chin guard to stop the zipper from rubbing underneath uh, your chin. All the hems uh, at the neck, the wrist and the waist are all lightly elasticated to keep out draft. At either side of the chest, we put in large, deep zipper pockets, and these are uh, micro fleece lines to keep your hands warm. Really good quality fleece back. Each zipper has a zipper garage, and then on the upper right hand side, we've incorporated a small Napoleon pocket for your little odds and ends. At the wrist, we've incorporated a stretch panel so that you can take the jacket on and off without having to remove your combat gloves. A unique feature of the Light Fighter layer jacket is the ability to zip the sleeves on and off. It gives you uh, even more options with your layering. Each zip is color coded so you don't get the wrong sleeve on the wrong side. There's a green zip and a black zip. And once they're removed, you can wear it as a gilet or a vest. The zips are placed um, far enough off your shoulders so that they're not going to rub if you're wearing armor, webbing on and things like that. The zips are well out of the way. The trick to getting them on is to just turn the, uh, turn the seam inside out a little bit and that'll give you unobstructed access to the zip. Put the zip together and it goes on much, much quicker than if you try to do it without turning it inside out because the dust cup gets in the way. We've used a lightweight ripstop synthetic for the outer shell and then that's been nano coated to increase its water resistance. The uh, insulation is 67 grams a square meter of Climber Shield. Now, you geardos out there all know the quality of Climber Shield. It's one of the better insulations available on the market today.